and I think we are live. Yeah. So, yeah, hi yeah. Laura. Yeah. Thank you for being here again, talking to me. I so enjoyed our podcast that aired last Friday. So I'm excited to get to continue our conversation. Mm. Hello, Trine. Thank you so much for having me here today. Uh, welcome, everyone. Uh, we are live on Zoom and uh, Facebook. We are connecting the Zoom to Facebook. I hope you can see us. Um, I see the Zoom screen for now, so I wouldn't be able if there are people also on Facebook at this moment. Uh, but I guess that um, if anyone is interested, it would be possible to watch this recording also a little bit later. Absolutely. And if there's any questions in the comments, we'll just go back and answer them. Yes, that would be great. And so thank you again, Trina, for having me here today. I also enjoyed very much our conversation and I'm glad that the podcast is uh, out. And so it's very good to be here with you today. And I think uh, we'll have a quite uh, interesting conversation considering also what was going on behind the scenes before yeah. we went live. We have a few interesting things to share and some ideas and some uh, practical tips and exercises about how to relate in an embodied, grounded way to uh, shock actually and uh, anger in our yeah <laughs> because it was it was kind of funny wasn't it that when we got on zoom to say hi just a, a few minutes ago we were both a little bit frazzled because <laughs> we had both had actually similar experiences with finances that weren't working out the way we were expecting so it seems kind of like maybe a sign that I could definitely use um, a little help to to come back and find my balance again. Yeah, so before we started the live, uh, I was sharing with Trina what happened to me in the morning. I had a very weird uh, situation and I could feel the effect on my system and the shock uh, but also the frustration and the anger because I discovered that that uh, quite fat fine on my Spanish bank account. And um, the, the crazy thing is that I didn't understand why. And apparently I also lost uh, um, a deadline to oppose this decision of the administration. And it was a wrong move probably to look at this before I came live, but I wasn't expecting it so it was uh, no of course surprise. sometimes life comes at us at unexpected moments yeah and so i just could feel that in my in my system and so i thought that okay this is life happening you know even when we go live <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. We thought, why don't we bring this uh in the space because many of us navigate uh, life and meet all sorts of challenges and uh, difficult uh, circumstances. And so I thought that we could share some exercises for uh, supporting people eventually to have some very simple tools that they can include in their daily life if they resonate with that. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I like the sound of that. And if nothing else, it sounds like we, we both need this reminder right now so yeah so how would you like me to proceed Trina do you see if there are messages or would you like me or questions or would you like me to go straight into something practical or do you have some questions for me first um I was trying to to figure out the technical stuff and I managed to uh, <laughs> Luke, get lost on Facebook, um, but I, uh, I don't even see, oh, here we are. 
I, I think can here it says we are live on Facebook somewhere. <laughs> yes, and and I think I can keep an eye on uh, on comments now on my tablet. That's why okay. I'm Fantastic. busy looking down. Yeah. But but for now, let's just um, you you said when we were talking that you were actually feeling angry and it felt like a shock to your system, and and I can relate to that. And then my first thought was how. Do we handle that? I know you are very good with everything somatic, everything body. I, yeah, I, I love your story about how loud music and dancing helped you through grief and how, how centering ourselves in our body can make us feel more at home within ourselves and, and mm -hmm. in life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the first thing I'm, I'm noticing, it is like the need to establishing a gentle, nurturing contact with my body and mm. put my hand on my chest and on my heart, um, reassuring that part of myself that thinks like, mm, shouldn't be angry, you know, oh, yeah, that yeah. emotion, yes. low vibration. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> And um, mm -hmm. when I heard you saying, um, you know, these things, introducing, you know, this concept, um, I also felt that uh, it is important in this situation to be also grounded, as grounded, uh, present, and somewhat also uh, relaxed, you know, as mm -hmm. relaxed as possible, so that whatever yeah. it is that I'm going to share also mm -hmm. as we will practice, we are going to do it from a place of relaxed state, connected state, so that it doesn't yeah. become just a, uh, you know, uh, an exercise we can tick off a list or, or, or chaotic expression that is going to trigger our nervous system even uh, more. Yeah. And then it becomes, a reaction you know mm. that activates us and obviously the nervous system you know moves in waves and there are moments for activation you know and yet i feel that for now it would be good just to take a moment for all of us you know mm. if putting the hands on the heart if yeah. that is a good idea i invite you to do so mm -hmm. and taking also a nice deep inhale and exhale through the mouth. Another couple. Inhale. Oh, and exhale through the mouth. Perhaps with a ha sound. Mm. You know, like at the end of a tiring day. Oh. Yeah, we naturally do that sometimes. Mm -hmm. mm. Yes, and usually long exhales also with ah uh, sounds stimulate, you know, the parasympathetic nervous system, mm -hmm. the capacity to integrate and digest, and also the vagus nerve, which is so important and crucial to yeah. our overall health and well-being for um, embracing really this state of connection, presence, choice, mm. uh, possibility, social mm. engagement, and so on. So um, I invite you and myself and us all and those who are listening also to just uh, giving some weight to the ground. So whether you're mm. standing or sitting with your legs on the floor or with your crossed legs, just uh, feeling the weight of the lower part of your body and the connection with the ground, the connection between your bum and your chair or sofa. Or if you're sitting on an armchair and you can also choose to lean back a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna come back forward because of the audio, but what yeah. I want to say it is to lean back and also feel the support mm. 
of the chair or the support of the wall. Maybe if you're sitting perhaps on your bed and you're leaning against the wall. Mm. It's just spending a moment just to feel that. And hopefully we are all here a little bit more present through these very simple things that yeah. we can all do uh, during the day. Yeah. Pose and slow down, feeling the feet, feeling the ground, feeling the support and giving weight. Yeah. Because what happens also uh, is that when we are in a state of preoccupation or anxiety or stress, we tend to lift everything up. <laughs> yes. And when we do that, I, you know, I can't even breathe. If no. I do this, right? We're so constricted. Yes, exactly. So we can also do it for a sec and then relax and then contract. <sighs> Yeah, and then feel the difference. Exactly. I I actually feel my heart rate has slowed down just just from from these few moments. And and as you say, it's so simple. Mm -hmm. And and it's really amazing because the ah, mm -hmm. sigh that you say connects to our parasympathetic system. It it I mean we don't even have to know anything about that. We just do that. That that that's just natural bodily wisdom, isn't it? That we're born with. Yes. And, and that we have forgotten. Because as you said, I, I thought I was pretty calm sitting here. I enjoy talking to you. And even the tech stuff that's not working isn't doesn't feel like that big a deal, but mm -hmm. Just taking a moment and actually feel myself sitting in the chair and appreciating that there's actually support. Mm -hmm. So yeah. this is for me, it's also about to come into presence, you know, yeah. and, uh, you know, like uh, Anna Halprin, for example, one of the greatest teachers she passed away recently. She was about 100 years old. Oh, wow. Pioneer in the field of dance as a healing tool. Ah, dance, not just as a performance, but mm -hmm. dance, dance as a tool for, you know, transformation, yeah. connection, changing the community. You know, she used to say to be grounded mm -hmm. because to be grounded also could be a concept, right? To be yes. grounded means to feel the weight of your body. And that means also to give the weight to the ground and surrender to gravity and explore the connection also with the lower part of our body, with our trunk, but also with our legs and with the feet. Yeah. Yeah. And this is also for the sake of our conversation, it is also about, you know, uh, inviting presence so mm -hmm. that, that I can be more at home inside yeah. myself yes. before we explore a couple of more things because we say we want to explore a little bit about shock and yeah. frustration and anger so that could bring in some activation in our system and so my proposal was to embrace presence first before mm. we go into something that other bias could trigger you know over reactivity or yeah. overwhelm so whoever is listening i also invite you to explore what works uh, for you uh, i'm not offering you know a universal model you know that works for everyone um, accepting one's limitations is great mm -hmm. uh, if there are any accepting the fact that sometimes we need to pause that is fine too so it's also important not to push uh, anything and yeah. just play a little bit yeah because mm. this is a creative and uh, playful exploration, yeah. uh, which leads me to add another step related to mm -hmm. shock and frustration. If that's okay for you, Trina, unless Absolutely. you have yeah. comments or questions, you know, I pass it to you before I continue. It's, um, 
I don't think we have any any comments at the moment. So I think we're we're good to go. Okay. So what I wanted to share, it was uh, what I felt uh, uh, in my system and what the impulse mm -hmm. uh, could have been to follow that impulse that it was caused by the frustration yeah. I experienced and the anger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we also know, and there are many remarkable teachers and therapists and writers who speak about that, we also know that repression, it is not healthy for no. our system mm -hmm. either, repression of emotion of any kind. And in fact, there are also some studies, uh, obviously this is a bit generic, but I would like to mention mm -hmm. this, that uh, describe a certain cancer personality type, yeah. especially women. And there's yeah. a common tract oftentimes in these situations, which is related to suppression of certain emotion, particularly anger and frustration. Yeah. So I'm talking about uh, that situation where we as women become excessively nice, you know, all the oh, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Press our state and don't honor our needs and don't allow that expression. Mm. So I'm obviously not talking about venting anger. I'm not talking about venting rage against uh, anybody in a way that could be dangerous for myself and for others. I'm talking about following an impulse through mm. my body so that my body can move with it and do what is physiologically designed to do. And then yeah. I can move forward. Yeah. 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 That makes sense. It's about... Uh, Sometimes in somatics, this is called sequencing. There is an impulse, okay. I follow it, I reach the peak energetically, and then there is a valley again, and then my nervous system can complete that action and rest again. Yeah, because we, we are kind of designed to handle these emotions. They're natural, aren't they? Mm -hmm. So, of course, we can, we can handle them. And I, I've heard this, that, that emotions, if we... If we can disengage from them, they won't last very long. They we can't keep anger up for very long unless we sort of put our minds to it and get into it or start venting, as you say, or 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 keep adding to it by, oh yeah, but that happened last month as well. And then it could and so if we just take a breath and let it run its course. Mm -hmm. Yes, it, exactly. Because there is a difference actually be between the physiology and, mm -hmm. our, new, uh, and our, our neurobiology and the stories and the meanings and the narratives that we attach to it. Yeah. And obviously there is a place for that because mm -hmm. there is a place for transforming true stories and narratives. So here I just uh, want to offer some couple of simple things that mm -hmm. I feel that can be helpful and playful and, yes. uh, and this is what I wanted to do mm -hmm. uh, earlier on when I felt in that way and uh, we can play with this with our you know hands as well we can yeah. imagine that these are like animal pose you know maybe uh -huh. of a tiger or a big cat you know perhaps I... we can oh, relax yeah. a little bit our face mm. and you know rub our face a little bit and this is all I wanted to do in that moment. And uh, I need to allow myself to go that without thinking too much that I'm yeah. too silly, which is like. <laughs> hmm. And if you're there and if you did it, just take a moment just to notice how it felt yeah. you know this can be quite playful quite yeah. innocent actually and also silly to an extent you know mm -hmm. we don't have to look good all the time oh yeah have <laughs> some playfulness and not to take ourselves too seriously and it's important not to strain the throat and open the mouth so we are oh, not gonna yeah. you know hurt the throat mm -hmm. 
And then the other possibility would be, and I don't have anything close to me, but it would be like to take a, a towel, for example. Yeah. You know, and just, and then just I have my it. scarf. Yeah, and then just you know, really. Mm. Oh, like rig it. Yeah, just a little bit with your hands. You yeah. Know, so you can feel that impulse in the fingers. Oh, yeah. You know. Hmm. Yeah. That's that's. Mm -hmm. <sighs> just really <laughs> and that's it yeah and that's it I really like the tiger because I'm I'm doing qigong and there's tiger exercises as well where you do the tiger claws and then you can sort of feel the energy of it start sort of moving in your body and 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 I, again, it brings me to think how natural it is in a way, because how many times have we, you know, without even thinking said, oh, I'm so angry, I just want to scream. Or, or sometimes, you know, I don't know if it's a Danish expression, but if you're really angry with someone, you're like, oh, I, I just want to wring their necks to shut them up, kind of. And, and that was actually, I mean, much better with a scarf, isn't it, than taking it out on anybody but it it's like their natural instincts mm -hmm. that are already in us that we can actually turn into tools as you just showed us i think that's powerful and yeah. beautiful and simple and this is also very simple and yet complex and nuanced because this is also about not imposing you know oh okay i felt that now i have to do this you know yes yeah yeah uh, it's not about imposing things. Mm -mm. Uh, it's not about having an agenda, you know. I Absolutely. Felt that in that mm -hmm. moment before I came into the call, that is what I needed to do mm -hmm. to move that energy in some way that wasn't uh, hurtful. And yeah. then I found that it would have been helpful to have this conversation and just come into presence and connection first so that this exploration could, could come from a, connected and more relaxed place versus yeah. like ah, you know because yeah, that yeah. was a strain you know on our throat for example you know yeah so maybe there is a very last thing i would like to add and yes um, please and leave it for there so i'm just gonna stand up and i'm gonna need this for myself yeah it's one of my favorite practices is a gentle shake you know and uh, a gentle release. So I'm going to stand. And this is also about bringing their energy down towards the legs and feel yeah. um, the gentle release so stuff can move rather mm -hmm. than being yeah. stuck somewhere, you know, like, oh, I'm angry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, oh. especially, especially I'm angry, but I can't do anything about it because that's not nice. So this is about, you know, bringing also a gentle uh, release. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a practice that is actually used in Qigong and in yeah, many yeah. various practices. We used it in movement medicine practice, you know. It's a way also to imagine that we are creating more space. Oh, yeah. Know? Like a butterfly, you know, vibrating. Yeah in the cocoon before she disintegrates completely in the liquid and then she will transform completely in something different you know wow so we can think about it also how the uh snake changes skin so with these practices there is also the beauty of inviting our embodied imagination so that we can weave also some narrative in that moment if that is helpful yeah visualizing okay what is it that i'm doing you know mm -hmm. so you could imagine actually water washing through you you know that's As beautiful well. and that's more gentle than than mm -hmm. i was expecting when you said shaking because i was actually thinking that along the way you know the whole shake it off and mm -hmm. there's um, it can be sort of if you really shake it, but it can be sort of that more more of a vibration, isn't it? Yes. As you say, with the with the butterfly. Yes. 
I like and, that uh, version. Yes, and also because this is a short uh, conversation. Again, it's uh, yeah. nuanced, uh, simple, and yet also complex. There is really no need to push anything to perform anything, you know. Uh, but just to give that a little try. So uh, I would invite the vibration to be really, really gentle, you know, yeah. really, really gentle and relax in the mouth and mm -hmm. the jaw. And then we are going to just uh, exhale with some sound. Yeah. Okay. Understand? I don't know if my, if my cord is long enough to allow me to do this. I think it kind of works. <laughs> So very gentle, very mm -hmm. gentle. Oh, I'm also going to relax my neck. Very gentle. Oh, maybe bring into the mind eye that event that was a little bit stressful or shocking to our system. Just very gently. Oh. And sometimes I like to add some deeper sounds, a little bit like oh, it helps me bring the sound yeah. down into my belly. It makes mm. me feel a little bit more like a cave woman. Makes me feel yeah. like sound is traveling down mm -hmm. into my legs, so mm -hmm. I sense, you know, more my strength and connection also to the lower part of my body, to my belly, to my womb. Thank you. Oh. Well, Thanks. How are we feeling now about the whole thing? Well, I'm feeling uh, better. I'm mm -hmm. feeling a bit more uh, resourced compared yes. to how I started and the stress and preoccupation I, I had because of this situation with the fine. So thank you. That was a short journey, but very yes. Well, and I hope it was useful for you and for the people who are going to listen. Absolutely. Just a, just a sneak peek of what, of what our bodies can help us when we are feeling stressed or shocked or angry. I think it's a very nice reminder that to listen to our bodies because it, we are connected. And, and when you said about being grounded and, and sort of feel, feel our bodies come down. I, I know I spend a lot of time in my head mm -hmm. and, you know, energy going, thoughts and, and yeah, even my shoulders pulling up. So just mm -hmm. remembering that we, we are a whole, that we're not just mm -hmm. our minds, but mm -hmm. that our bodies are actually trusted companions and, and part of us. And in all this, again, to take a pose, it's great. There is really no need to push anything. If somebody mm -hmm. feels a bit um, overwhelmed or, you know, activated to slow down and do less, that is always great. So this is an invitation also to explore what works for people also mm -hmm. taking responsibility you know for one's um body sense of safety sense of yeah uh, well-being you know we really don't want to impose anything you know onto people without making sure that uh, actually this is an invitation yeah it's yeah. not uh, it's not a truth yeah. No, no. And that's, that's what these conversations are all about, that it does not have to be stressful. Mm -hmm. it, it's not, there's not a million things we have to do. We can listen to what feels right. And, and this is one way of doing it. We can explore it and 
and see how it feels. And then if that's not our thing, then something else is because yeah. we are meant to feel good at home in our bodies and in life. And, and whatever tool works, I'm all in favor of that. Yes, and sometimes it's also, maybe this is the last thing I'm going to say, it's a sort of uh, paradox. It's a dance with paradoxes because the more we feel at home in the body, mm -hmm. the more we invite the possibility that in order to transform, um, heal and tune in with our state, that mm -hmm. doesn't mean to be calm all the time. That doesn't mean, you know, to be... No, it um, means to be real, doesn't yeah. it? So it's an invitation to be patient with oneself because some of the states that may arise sometimes mm -hmm. could be a little bit uncomfortable. But then if we create enough uh, resources and uh, safety and places where we feel that we can explore then mm. that is gonna widen our circle yes yeah capacity to respond to life and to yeah. be centered also mm. when we you know when we are in the midst of the storm so this is about actually expanding our vocabulary of expression yeah. and to have more imagination and more basically more resources really you know yeah really be resourced because the times require that from us especially from those of us who are also space holders and um, want to do some goodness you know in this yeah. life then the bar you know there is a lot at stake so yeah yeah we need, to, we need to learn that so that we can bring it to our communities too absolutely the more the more we fill our inner reserves the more we have to give mm. yeah Thank you so much for, thank for you. being here. Thank you, Trine, for being together in our humanity. And yeah. Yeah, just yes. Thank you. Yeah. And yeah, life isn't perfect, but, but we can talk about it. We can work with it. We can play with it. And it's not, it's not that serious then. It, for me as well, even just talking about things, not sitting with it alone to me that's just gorgeous as well thank you thank you for your time and uh, i hope that some viewers will come in perhaps and if there are questions we can respond. yeah we can come back and answer uh, feel free to get in touch thank you absolutely thank you. yeah have a beautiful day thank you. Thank see you, you later thank you